Each of us has an amazing power source within us called creativity. Experts in education, business, science, and spirituality agree that creativity is our most important asset and resource. We can use our imagination to project an idea out into the world and make it real. That's awesome. So tonight I'd like to invite you to think about ways that we can access, claim, nurture, and engage our creativity in our daily lives. We'll be using the ancient symbol of the spiral as our guide, as a metaphor, and as an acronym. I invite you to participate with curiosity and awareness as we explore the creative spiral. The first letter of the spiral is S, and it stands for spirited. And when I say spirited, I don't mean that in any particular religious connotation, but more as your unique self. This is where we want to clarify who we are as individuals, so we ask ourselves, what do I value most in life? What qualities do I have that reflect my individuality? We also clarify how we learn, how we are in relationship to others and to the world. We explore aspects of ourselves by either writing or dialoguing, and also by paying attention to symbols, metaphors, dreams, and images that we respond to. What images come to mind for you when you think about all of the elements that come together to make up your spirited life? The images you're seeing tonight are images that just resonated with me. The next letter of spiral is P, and P is for passion. Local community member and international thought leader Jack Canfield describes passion as something that provides us with continual focus, energy, and enthusiasm. So our passion is what fuels us. What do you love? What thrills you? What makes you happy all over? Thinking in terms of connecting this with your spirit and body by tying in all of your senses and identifying the things that you love and incorporating them into your life gives you energy, the energy needed to pass through your comfort zone and risk the unknown. It also establishes our love center where we bring our awareness to our relationship with our spirited self. Acceptance and compassion begin here. Our next letter is I, and that stands for intuition. Intuition is defined as a way of knowing, uh, a way of knowing that we don't really know how we know. It's strongly associated with our body sense, like gut feelings, it's also strongly associated, excuse me, with the feminine. For me, intuition is where inspiration meets imagination. They interact, they incubate, and there's an illumination or an aha moment, and that's when an idea is born. Then we create an intention and we project it out into the world, implement a, implement a plan to make it real, and install it in its rightful place. As creators, we then integrate all that we've learned. How do we access and nurture our intuition? Spending time in nature allows us to align our spirit, passionate center and bodies. So where do you like to go to nurture your intuition? The next letter is R and it stands for real. And here's where we put our intentions into action. We literally take things into our own hands. We bring our awareness to our relationship with time, space, materials, and resources. And any one of these things can offer us some very real challenges as we push past familiar territory. But many of the challenges that we encounter involve facing our own fears. Here's where we spiral back to that love center for acceptance and for compassion so that we don't stay stuck in our fear. The next letter is A, and it stands for authentic. And what does authentic mean? Well, authenticity has to do with claiming our own authority, um, and rather than looking outside of ourselves for direction and influence, we look inward. We hear people talk about our inner compass or inner guide. When we create a spiraling connection with our spirited, passionate, intuitive selves, we make decisions about how we will manifest our unique creativity based on what is true for us. We interpret and translate our inspiration paired with our skills and talents, and we work from our unique perspective. Our expression of, the of our self in the world 
becomes a gift that is stamped with our unique signature and style. And this, this is a picture of baskets. I, I teach a basket weaving class, and everyone was taught the same skills, and yet here are all of the different manifestations stamped with their own personal signature and style. Last letter is L, and that's for life choices. Every day we have an opportunity to make choices that support and nurture our creativity. What thoughts, feelings, and actions would you like to choose to weave into the fabric of your life? If I may make some suggestions, try weaving in the practice of beauty, gratitude, humor, peaceful solutions, and acceptance. This sets in motion the spiraling inward and spiraling outward that becomes a rhythm and a dance, a song and a cycle that we follow through our days. I'd like to share with you a chant by Lorna Kohler, and it goes like this. Spiraling into the center, the center of the wheel. Spiraling into the center, the center of the wheel. I am the weaver, I am the woven one, I am the dreamer, I am the dream. Following the creative spiral, we can choose a spirited, passionate, intuitive, real, authentic life. And finally, in the words of Albert Einstein, creativity is contagious, pass it on. Thank you.